All right. Now, what we can do, here it is. Uh, here's a little figure. Let me get my... Uh, let me get my V-tool. Now, if you want to, we don't have to. You can take that V-tool and you can kind of open up those ears a little bit if you want. You want to be careful. But you can open up those ears a little bit. Want to, just like right here. Let me come down on this one a little bit. It's a little bit thicker. There we go. You simply take your V2 and just kind of work it in there. Just to bring those ears out. You don't have to do this, you can just leave them plain. But it's just, it's just an idea to give the ears a little bit more. <sighs> Look to them. All right, there we go. Okay, well, look, he's, uh, he's done. You cute? He is cute. Be even cuter when we paint him. Now, one of the things... I was often asked is what, what how can I make my carving you know you see a lot whenever I a lot of my stuff that I do I call it a form of flat plane and it is in a sort of a way it's not exactly like Harley Refsel's stuff because I had made up in my mind that I didn't just want to do Harley's stuff. Uh, I wanted to have my own signature of what something looked like. Okay. Let me get a piece of, of wood, okay? Let me get a block of wood and I'm going to show you something. Ugh. Now, one of the issues, and if you look, even in, in a piece like this, and this is, this is, you know, sort of a relief type carving of a man who is holding a, what it is, it, it's, I took it from these men that were holding a casket, and each one of them were on one side of the casket, in other words, and I just took it and I, I, uh, and as you can see, the, the cuts are in there and everything like that. And a lot of people ask me, you know, how can I get my carving to look more in that, in that sense? And, and what we're going to do is... First of all, I'm going to show you what, what I do a lot of times is I flip my knife when I cut. And if, like I said, if you see the pieces in here, you see the... It almost looks like I used a gouge. But you don't have to use a gouge. You can use a knife. You can flip. This is what I'm just calling. Flip that knife just like that, in other words. Now, let's just take... Uh, an arm here. Let's just kind of say that we're making an arm here.
I'm just making an example here, okay? I'm just using an example. It's not written in concrete, okay? But say that we're just making an arm there. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take and just cut this arm regular, okay? In other words, I'm just going to cut it like I would just be cutting a, um, just a regular piece and shaping it, in other words. And this is an arm in a pocket somewhere, so we come down here like that. Cut that in there. Okay. Let me give it a little bit more in here. There we go. A little bit more at the top here. Now, when you carve a figure, okay, now if you look at this arm, let me bring this down a little bit more so that you can see it. But say you carve an arm like this, okay? And let me go ahead and, and just come this way with it. And come from the inside. So we can kind of have a general direction of this, okay? All right, say that you just carve an arm like this, okay? Just a plain arm like that. And And so it just looks like that, okay? Now, in a, in a quarter of, of using how to flip your knife, and I'm just gonna kinda shape this just a little bit in here and just, what I mean is just, just say that we just carve it like this. Just a straight type arm and put it in there like that. And it, it doesn't look bad. It looks good. I mean, I mean it's, it's good and will fit the character good and all that stuff. But if you take that and you flip this knife, you'll see how much different this arm looks. If you add some things, for instance, right in here, add a cut right in there, add a cut up here. Okay, then take your knife and just sort of flip it, okay? Flip that knife, flip that knife, flip that knife, flip it right in here, flip it just up like that. It's kind of thin in here, so we have to be kind of careful. But you see how now and I'm going to come back here. I'm going to do the same thing. Flipping that knife. See how I flip that? I flip it. But you see how it makes those marks in the piece? Just like here. Like coming up here. Flip that. Okay? Flip that like there. And suddenly, it has those marks in them. You can do it real slowly. And then you come here. See this is straight? Watch this. Flip that knife just right in there. 
See? And it gives it that look. So it goes from just that look to that look right there. Almost like you used a gouge on it. And when I carve now, it's, I, I do that anyway. I do that anyway. But you see the difference? The difference in how it looks? You leave all those knife marks in there. Now, if you don't want that, that's fine. That's, that's fine. But, you see, it's a lot different than just the straight stuff, in other words. It gives it that, that, like, knife look to it. I call it knife look. That's, that's the best thing to, to say. That knife look to it. So, okay. Well, I'm just showing you this. And, and when I say flip it, just like this. Just flip. Flip, 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 flip. Flip that knife and you cut it. Okay? All right. Well, God bless you. I just wanted to show you that and that you see the difference in that. All right. Well, here's our, here's our little fox. He's done with and we're proud of him. So... We are. God bless now.